All right, guys, welcome to the video. Anthony here with Special Analysis. Uh, as promised, I'm going to walk you through the way I placed my trades today, right? Um, and the reason I do this is because how are you going to know if you're going to enjoy trading alongside me if I don't tell you the way I trade, right? I mean, that just makes obvious sense in my humble opinion. So that's what we're going to do. Um, light, sweet, crude oil is what you see in front of you. Off to the right, the big chart is a five-minute chart. Top left is a four-hour chart. Bottom left is a chart of the US dollar index, five minutes. Current contract is June 2024 is the CLM2024 or CLM24, depending on which platform you're trading with. Um, so market makes this really, really aggressive low, gets a super strong turnaround here. Market pushes back up into a channel structure based off of the prior low. We get a really great pullback. We fall in back to the rolling VWAP, and then we start this consolidative state right here. And we talked about this. You know, I, I very specifically said if we cannot break this low right here, then there's no reason to consider getting short. If we can't break that low, there's no reason to be consider getting short because we could be putting in a higher low. A higher low would be confirmed by what? A higher high, right? So impulse, correction, impulse, break of the prior high, correction, impulse, okay? It's just a matter of which direction the market's going in. We stayed here for too long. If you see these red blocks on the bottom of my chart, these are the sellers getting absorbed. And okay? we were not able to break that absorption level. Without breaking that absorption level, there's a better than not chance that we're not gonna go lower, okay? So what happens? Well, we start pushing up. And notice that the sellers being absorbed continue to start rising. So now I'm you know, wagering cause for concern here about the fact that we're probably set a low here. So we take an impulse, we take a correction, we take an impulse, and very specifically, now that the uptrend has been confirmed, I told my traders, if this high, which was previously resistance, is now newly appointed support right above where this arrow is pointing, there's a pretty good chance that we push higher from there long as this previous high holds any pullback here at 77.90 which was the exact price that I mentioned we would likely go higher from here and we did okay we came in we tested 77.90 we held it we even pulled back again a little bit and then we rallied 119 ticks from that level where are we wrong? Well, right below that level. Price falls back below that level, we're probably wrong. Okay? But we came in and tested it perfectly. The low of this candle is 77.90. We consolidated. We got the inventory report, and we were off to the races. Right? We didn't need the inventory report to confirm we were going higher. And in fact, the inventory report wasn't even that bullish. Price was just ready to go higher. And it was really all determined by understanding volume and price action. Right? I knew where the buyers and the sellers were getting absorbed. I knew that this prior high was going to serve as future support, which it did to the penny. And then the market went higher. And if I was wrong, failing at this 77.90 level, would have told me so. That's it, right? Now this took me about two hours to get to the point where I felt very comfortable saying, okay, you know, we've put in this correction, we've broken it, placed a higher high, and now placed a higher low. Now I'm looking for that next impulse and correction, and right there is exactly where it was. And for that, we just kept pushing higher, right? 
little impulse correction, impulse correction, impulse um, consolidation, impulse, and now it looks like we're starting to break here, right? So we impulse down, we corrected, we impulse down, we've now pulled back up, grabbed whatever stop orders were resting above these prior highs, and it looks like we're starting to maybe drift a little bit back lower here, right? So this was a very aggressive kind of pullback, but coming back into this level right here, more specifically this low is what I look to, because looking left tells the story. That's what I'm looking at. As resistance, and that could probably be drawn a little bit better. But right there. So if we can't get above this, we're going to probably squat back. We'll see how we react to the rolling VWAP followed by the session VWAP. Um, or we're just kind of going into the close of the day and we may just drift sideways. But who cares? It is what it is, right? Because all we had to do was identify the low risk, high probability setup, take the trade, and be done for the day. And that's what we did, right? Trading this chop is very difficult. Trust me. Waiting for the market to prove to you which direction it's going is well worth your time. I promise. In doing that, you can identify these low risk, high probability trades. Again, I specifically said out loud to my clients, if we hold 77.90, we're going higher. We held 77.90 and we went higher. Not saying that I'm right all the time because I'm not. All I'm saying is putting together a thesis of what's happening, when, where, and why, based on an understanding of volume and price action, Creating market context around that will allow you to accurately find these types of setups. Guys, if you look at my chart and I take the drawings away, that's my chart. Volume, price action, two VWAPs, that's it. Nice and clean because I need to understand what the market's doing it's hard to understand what the market's doing when the chart is cluttered with crap i don't want crap what i want is to understand what's happening when where and why so i can build an idea around how i'm going to articulate putting risk on in the market and that's how i did it today and that's how uh the traders that decided to partake in that move it was very it, the directions were very concise Okay? However you manage it is up to you. I'm not here to tell you how to trade your money or what to risk or how to, how to play it. I very specifically said, holding 77.90 is what takes us higher. Breaking 77.90 is what takes us lower. We held 77.90, almost 120 ticks. So, that's how it's done, guys. Right? Again, are you going to be right all the time? No. But when you're right, you want to be right like you want it to to run like you want to pay yourself protect yourself keep taking profits you know every time you get these kind of new pushes higher you want to take a little more profit so if you enjoyed this video i ask you to simply like it if you have a question there's a comment section below please feel free to leave a comment i will answer it personally if you're interested in joining me as i analyze the market live every single day from 8 to 11 eastern standard time there's a link below to learn more. And if I can do anything for you, my email is there as well. I appreciate each and every one of you. God bless, and I will see you in the next video.